Hey guys, Saf here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and today we're going to be looking at this new summoning event that has started. I say new, it's not really that new. It is times two sacred, but for a new champion, a new unity guy, and to be honest, I have been fairly negative in terms of my enthusiasm towards the new unity champions because whilst they're all cool and they've seemed very powerful i thought falman would be pretty pretty impactful the requirement to have all of the same faction actually makes it very difficult to sort of realize the goals of the champion however with this new guy we have a different conversation to have and we're gonna have a look at that just before we start summoning but i've got a few secrets here i will be summoning i've also got some prisms that i've saved and that is because I am going for the Pack Master Fusion. I know a lot of people may not be because he's not as desirable. So I'm going for it here to try and get uh, the fragments. So that's really important. If for whatever reason, oh look, it's Pickle Rick. It's Pickle Rick. I haven't seen Pickle Rick in ages. Hell Hades, Pickle Rick still lives. If anyone doesn't know, Pickle Rick used to donate all the time on Hell Hades tweet, uh, Twitch streams. Just uh, that's quite a bit. Th Sidetrack, back on topic. I do want to try and get the 10 fragments here. I'm going for the fusion, so it makes sense that I'll go for it. And hey, I might get lucky and get this Legate Teox. So why am I so excited about this faction unity over any other faction unity? He looks kind of cool. He's got a massive club here. Um, I've seen Scratch do a video guide on him, and he was performing quite crazily in terms of his performance. So what have we got here? He's going to attack one enemy two times. The ally with the highest critical damage, so you can force the actual ally attack will join the attack using their default abilities. The damage dealt by this champion and the ally joining the attack. Nobody knows how this is coded, but there you go. Uh, by this champion and the ally will be increased by 10% for each debuff on the target. So if you have 10 debuffs, this doubles the damage of this ability. And when you have a look at the damage multipliers, you will see how strong this truly is. Then we have Draconic Retribution, a triple hit. So far, double hit, triple hit, really good for something like Fire Knight in an ally attack setting really really powerful each hit will ignore 10 percent of the target's defense for each debuff on the target stack them to 50 percent so if you've got 50 percent ignore defense if you have an area bonus of 20 percent and you have a 30 percent set you're now doing true damage five debuffs will get you to true damage on this ability each hit will also increase this champion's attack by 10 percent up to 50 percent and it's per hit three times so Three turn cooldown. By the time you hit the second time, he's already at max attack. So you can get it really, really quickly. And he'll get an extra turn if he kills someone. So far, insane. Then we go supersonic. And when you see the damage multipliers for this ability, you will realize why I'm saying it is supersonic. It's going to attack all enemies. Before attacking, we get increased attack and increased crit damage. Excellent. I don't need to bring the buffs to support this. That's really important in a situation where you have to be forced to bring three faction allies. Places an extra hit on enemies under debuffs. Now, if anyone doesn't know why this is an important note, extra hit always is calculated as if you didn't get it. So the damage is assumed that you hit once only. So when you hit twice, it doubles the damage nine times out of ten. So as with all Unity champions, the more faction of the same type, you, you get more bonuses. The first one ignores strength and ally protection and shield. That's pretty much a Necra counter more than anything else. It doesn't ignore stone skin or block damage, or unkillable, but it will ignore the things that generally slow you down, like bolster sets and various different things. If he kills someone, and they're under a debuff, he places block revive on an AoE setting. And remember, I just said it was a double hit as well. And then he just gets crazier. If you have three lizard men with him, he will deal 100% more damage, so long as there is five debuffs. Five debuffs. Wow. Crazy. Considering we've got a hit into an extra hit into a double damage on both hits. Then we get to his passive. Fills his champion's turn meter by 5% whenever an enemy or an ally receives a debuff. That is quite powerful. There's no cooldown. So if you put four debuffs, that's a 20% fill. Because if you've got four enemies like in Hydra, if you dump three debuffs out, that's like a, basically an extra turn. It's very strong. He also has, with one lizard, a 25% chance to counterattack. This hits really hard. We also have a, it's essentially a strengthen, basically a strengthen to your team. He takes 50% less damage, so you can build him pretty much glass cannon and all of your allies, so long as there is a debuff. And a lot of people might say, oh, well, what about Hydra when there's poison cloud out? Use a cursed hex set or, or, or poison set, right? As long as you've got an artifact set, you can place debuffs when it's weak hitting. So you can easily get a debuff back out on enemies. 
So you're always going to take 20% less damage. And this 20% is huge. And then finally, of course, the big ticket item. If you have three lizards in the team, you don't take sheep debuffs. It makes Romantu viable. Him and Romantu together with two lizards, viable. Get a cool little Axie Aura. Now, let me just show you the ratings. The website has all the ratings, the damage calculations, and it's in-depth calculations in terms of taking into account his attack bonuses, all of the different components, you know, assessing against different content areas, different defense numbers. It's a pretty in-depth calculation. So you can see we've currently got him rated at four star. We're probably gonna have to change that, to be honest, based on these numbers. We can go down, and if you have a look at the skill abilities here, it will tell you the multipliers. So his A1 is a double hit two times. His A1 is a four times attack. And if we look at the godlike ratings there, you can see pretty much, you know, he's one of the best damage dealers in the game on an A1 setting. Now, a lot of the A1s can be based on ignore defenses and various different things, like anyone who does true damage. Um, but he is ranking pretty high. Now, it gets crazier with the A2. The A2 here, he's really going up to another level because of the way that the ignore defense is stacking with a ignore defense set. Now, this isn't really calculated with any sort of area bonuses, Helm Smasher. It does calculate that you have 30% ignore defense from your sets. So this is basically putting it at about an 80% ignore defense. And it puts him pretty much one of the best damage dealers in the game. Look at these top five, top 10 damage dealers in the game. But then when we get to Wrath of the Legion, this is insane. It's a four times attack that repeats that attack. So it's an eight times attack. And then if you get the faction unity bonus, which is double the amount of damage if you have five debuffs, it's essentially doubling that multiplier again. So you have four times two times four times two. It just, it's insane. It's a 16 times multiplier. And you can see he is basically the best damage dealer in the game. He is matching enemy max HP for damage in places like clan boss, in places like Hydra. It is insane. And again, this doesn't include things like area bonuses. The reason why is because every champion could get that area bonus. So we don't really take it into account. Um, but it probably should be taken into account if you're like the A2 close to being true damage. So you can see why he would be desirable to get. So I really would love to get him. Um, I'm not going to wail for him. I only have about six, maybe seven sacred shards here. Um, so we'll see what we get. It is still a tens times chance, right? This is not the best time. I would imagine they will do a prism summoning pool for him in the nearest future. That's where they tend to put these um, unity champions and that would be a better opportunity for you to get him. Um, that would be probably the only time I've ever bought prisms when that is happening. So let's pull some secrets here. We've got enough space. Uh, we've got six. Hopefully we get something of value. It is times two um, sacred as well, but six is not a lot. You can easily go through six and not get a legendary. We're in with an epic. Epic straight away. We've got Necro Hunter. He's an alright one. We'll, we'll, we'll plus four him. Are we going to get a legendary? No. Nope. It's another epic. Another one of these. Oh, I've had so many Earth Sign Iron Hides lately. Come on. Oh, it's another epic. We're, we're halfway through. We're getting terrible epics here. Come on. Come on. Even if it's a good epic. Oh. Okay, Aox is not a bad epic. This is look, It's going to have to be a one-hit wonder if we get it. Oh. This is what I'm saying about times two sacreds. It's not always amazing. Like, you know, you'd want to get one in six, but we don't even get that. We don't even get a single legendary. How painful is that? Fortunately, I did save my bizarre sacred here so we can get a bizarre sacred. We got one more shot at this. Come on, don't give me an epic. Do not give me an epic. Oh my. Oh. Oh, six, seven sacreds, not a single legendary, not a single legendary. I don't even think we're close to a weekly or a monthly or anything. I think we've just finished the monthly. We finished Doom Tower. Can't even get another one. That is horrible, horrible experience. I didn't even get my top fragments. Didn't even get my top fragments. Pickle Rick is going to be walking away with the soul. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, all that build up, all that hype, and we didn't even get a legendary. We do have some prism shards. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Let's see what happens. I'd love a Kaima. No, nope, it's another epic. It's all epics today. All we're getting. Let's just finish up with a, seven, a ninth epic. Let's do it. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Richard Legends. Thank you really for solving my burnout problems and making me feel like I want to play this game. Not a single legendary champion. Wow. Well, let's just pull a 10 of the pole. Why not?
Why not? What, what's the worst that can happen? We'll probably give us 10 raids now just to really... Oh, we got a legend. We got a legend. Got a legendary. Got a legend. <laughs> well, um, that happened. Well, I guess we got a, a Grand Oak Pedraig. I mean, that's that's actually quite a good duplicate to get because that will give us a Faction Guardian in Silver Watchers. So, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> it is not the Legendary Wanted. You know, it's not from the Secrets. It has given me a little bit more rewards, which is great. Um, it's pushed me up to here. But it looks like Pickle Rick is going to be walking away with his uh, five-star Teox Soul. Um, they are, th these times two secrets are incredibly hard to get. I f if I get an extra secret, I will probably just pull it just for the chance of it. The champion is so good. Um, but we are on our way. We're only seven, 30 fragments away from Shy X. So we'll have to see how we get to. But there we go, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you have got Teox, congratulations. You have got a champion that is going to wreck the game. Absolute crazy damage dealer. Um, I hope you had more luck than I when it comes to your times two secrets. Um, you know, you really want to get something more than seven epics that are pretty useless i would say for me it wasn't even like something good like mr adadithi i hope you have better luck but anyway guys the only thing i want to do is give a bit of a shout out to a special stream we're doing tomorrow i've managed to pull hell hades and fiction and uh, lockers out of the doldrums of game development over at fateless to uh, come back for a special stream we're gonna be playing chained together so i don't know if you've seen this game it's kind of a fun little steam game you kind of Three or four people are chained together and you've got to climb out of this tower. It's a bit like Only Up if you've ever played that game. It should be an incredibly fun laugh. We might even have some sort of drinking game every time we fall, we, we take a shot. But last time we did that in Fall Guys, it didn't end very well. So we'll have to see how it goes. But um, make sure you join us tomorrow. Uh, I'll be streaming on the HH Gaming channel on this YouTube channel at around about 7.30 p.m. UK time. Uh, but I think Hell Hades is also dusting off his old YouTube stream channel as well, if he can remember how to press go live. And he'll also be live. So if you want to catch either of us on stream, we will we'll be playing it tomorrow at 7.30. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.